Thank you, Mary Beth. They are keeping a close eye, especially on the new variant and whether or not it might cause a spike amid spring break travel. As another wave of spring breakers enjoy the beach, the state is preparing to do all it can to minimize the spread of COVID-19. COVID's here to stay, so this is something we're going to have to get used to dealing with all the time. Dr. Jim Keeney is an emergency room doctor at Providence Mission Hospital in Mission Viejo. Right now, the current variations that are going out there don't seem to be causing significant hospitalizations or you know critical illnesses. So I'm not that worried about it, but on the other hand, Every time we spread this infection, we're giving more opportunities for variants. I think if it was going to happen, it already would have had happened. At LAX, spring breakers shared their opinions about flying. I was completely fine with it. I was honestly a little annoyed with how strict they were about it. I felt very comfortable. We're all vaccinated and there were measures in place to keep us safe. Two months out from the Omicron surge, LA County saw a dip in infections, but county health officials say the numbers are creeping up slightly, mainly due to the new BA2 variant. So it's really just the Omicron variant. It's more contagious, but either it's that everyone's been exposed and so now we're not seeing as much uh, of the, the severe illness. Last week, the governor's office began sending out millions of additional test kits to school districts for students and staff returning from spring break to stay ahead of any potential transmission. Basically, if you haven't had an immunization in the last five to six months, consider getting a booster shot. You'd also want to make sure you wash your hands real frequently. If you're going to be in a crowded environment, especially in an enclosed environment that you just can't social distance, you might want to wear a mask. But other than that, I think, you know, we're going to get this infection from time to time and I uh, don't need to worry too much about it at this point, but we do want to limit the spread. Now, while this comes as several of the major airlines are asking the president to lift the mask mandate on planes right now, the TSA has extended that mandate through April 18th. Rick, we'll send it back to you. All right, Sarah.